I've been filming with various action cameras for the duration of owning this channel. I've recently upgraded to the GoPro Hero 8 and I've been through my setup of everything I take with me when I make a video. So the GoPro itself, I have it mounted on the adapter which fits on the tripod. So most of my videos I make by myself. So the tripod is invaluable. I've also found that when just filming, if I want to walk and film, I get a much more stable shot if I walk holding the tripod rather than just holding the GoPro itself. You know, action cameras are quite small, so it's really easy to get those kind of small movements which do play out quite largely when you see the footage back. By holding the tripod there and walking with it, I find I get a much more stable shot. The Hero 8 is really good. It has some really good inbuilt stabilization software. So that's the GoPro and the tripod. Obviously a power bank is quite invaluable, especially with things I like to do like go away sometimes for a few days at a time. A power bank and charge lead. The I found the internal mic in the Hero 8 is quite good, but sometimes it's not always practical to use the internal mic. So I have a, a LAPL microphone, which this plugs into my mobile phone. So I keep the mobile phone in my pocket, have the LAPL mic just on my shirt, and then obviously two different types of windscreen, the really big fluffy one if it is quite windy, and just the smaller, more subtle one if wind isn't gonna be that much of a problem. Just a smaller tripod, and this is quite good for me. Sometimes you do cooking and things like that on this channel. So if you can get like you can get a lower down shot or you want to use like a log or you know a fence to film from, just a smaller tripod is is good. And lastly, just some spare SD cards. I keep just a tissue in there just to stop them rattling around. They're in the SD card adapters. That's just really to give them a little bit of protection. So there's one in there, a micro SD in there, uh, and another one in that one. So the SD card adapters aren't really necessary, but rather than just flying around in that case, the SD card adapter just gives the micro SD a little bit more protection. So it's quite a simple setup. I found this works really for me. It doesn't really matter what action camera you have. This setup's worked for me in most situations. And this is the setup when it's all packed up. That's everything packed into this little pouch. And we have the GoPro mounted on the tripod. This is how I would carry it if I was going out with a backpack, if I'm just going out to record anything. I have a cut up sock, which the, the Hero 8 is quite a tough camera. It is fairly resilient, but for my own peace of mind, I just have this cut up sock and leave it over the top of it. Cause sometimes it's thrown in the boot, you know, it could be in a backpack. So it gives me just a little bit of peace of mind that the screen isn't gonna get scratched anything like that. So there you go, that's just my fairly basic GoPro setup. I mean, it's worked for me in pretty much every situation up until now. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. What are you doing differently? Have you got a setup similar to this or have you got something a bit more advanced? I like this basic setup. It's small, it's light, it's convenient. I tend not to forget things because it's not overly complicated. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like it, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video.